Hey guys, DPG, David Patrick Green here, and uh, I've really got a very relevant video. It's a little bit on the advanced side, but actually if you think in an advanced manner, before you just rush into training and things like that, it'll actually have a huge impact down the road when you are thinking of putting to use all that training and all those other things that you do, including, you know, getting an agent, meeting up with casting directors, auditioning, etc. cetera. Um, but let me just say on the front end, uh, please like, subscribe, share, etc. And if you want to reach out to me because you like this video or any other videos that I do, please send me an email. It's the easiest way to get me, david at hackhollywood.com or dpg at davidpatrickgreen.com. Of course, the comment section below, I love that. You know, give me the thumbs up, whatever else you can do to draw attention to this very, very valuable information. Mm. So, um, what I wanna talk about today is the difference between uh, the big picture, which is where you wanna be thinking, and sort of the immediacy of throwing a rubber ball against the wall and getting something right back and knowing exactly what it is. Throw the ball at the wall, you get the ball back. That doesn't really work very well in life. In life, if you look at very successful people, what they focus on is the big picture. They focus on taking actions knowing because they either have an innate understanding or they just have the faith that if you do stuff, especially in one direction, not scattered all over the place based on oh, this is working for them, oh, this is working for that person, so I'll do it now. No, based on your own commitment and integrity to what it is you want to do, that those people become very successful, much more successful than the people who are just trying to chase after what somebody else did. Because if you try to do what somebody else did, well, you're already late in the game. Whatever applied and made them successful probably doesn't exist to the same extent anymore, okay? Um, so the simplest way I can explain these concepts to you, the big picture versus, you know, what's going on right now versus throwing the ball against the wall is, um, let's say auditioning, going after auditions, cause that is typically what most actors really get excited about and stopping to audition and focusing on building relationships. Okay. So here's the difference. If you focus on auditioning, then after you are done, if they didn't know you walking in, they still pretty much don't know you walking out. All they know is what you did for a certain part, for a certain role. They don't know you personally, they don't care about you personally. They might think you're a great actor, but they're not going to think about you after they leave for the day. When they're thinking about who to go out for dinner with, who to have over on the weekend for a little cocktail party or a barbecue or whatever, they're probably not thinking about you for a variety of reasons because mainly they don't know you. You're still a relative stranger. You're still a transaction. You are a number. Audition number, there's literally a list on audition sheets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty, forty, fifty, a hundred. You are number 75 today. Great. You might have done an amazing job. You might have even booked the job, although the chances of you booking it, being a complete stranger, are very slim. Why? Because would you hire someone who you don't know anything about, even if they did a great job and risk, you know, possibly ruining a multi-million dollar uh, shoot where there's hundreds of people whose livelihoods is on the line? Would you put that person in a position where they can ruin something like that? I mean, I'll leave it up to you. I certainly wouldn't, right? I'd be very, very leery about that. I'd want to know more. I'd want to maybe talk to them. And that's one of the reasons they do pre-reads and then they do, you know, auditions and callbacks and all that stuff. It's mainly left to the people they've never seen before. You know, I haven't pre-read for anyone in years because my resume speaks for itself and I've pretty much met everybody in the business. Um, so. I will tell you that it's much better to forget auditions altogether and not even think about them, not even think about booking, booking acting jobs and just focus on focusing on having a career. How? How can you have a career and not focus on auditioning? 
by focusing on getting to know the business and meeting the people inside that business. And I'm not talking about agents and casting directors because they're not in the entertainment business. They don't make entertainment. They screen people for the people who do make entertainment. So when I say get involved in the entertainment business with, and get to know those people, I'm talking about anybody from the people who do pre-production and scouting and finance and accounting to lights, to camera, to uh, renting equipment, craft services, PAs, producers, directors, of course, assistant directors, all of those people. They are in the entertainment business, okay? And each one of them can easily, if you are friends with them, easily introduce you to the people that make the hiring decisions. They can pass your headshots on. In fact, I had a friend in post-production who used to constantly ask me for my headshots without him even prompting him, and he would give them to the casting director. And the casting director has no choice but to bring me in because even though the post-production people are not in charge of hiring, they still work for the production company, and the production company is the boss of the casting directors, okay? So I my recommendation to you is see the big picture, think in the long term, understand that your actions will eventually come back to you, especially if you focus them all in one direction and you stay committed. I can guarantee you those actions will come back to you. You just have to have the faith because you don't know exactly when. I certainly don't know when. I don't know how either, but that phone will start to ring on your end. You'll start to get messages on social media. You'll start to get emails. You'll start to get phone calls messages, etc. And this has happened to countless of my clients who have just focused on the relationship side of thing and done very little else. And the next thing they know, they're working with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They're working on Death Note. They're traveling to Vancouver. They're traveling to Atlanta. They're all over the place. And they've never even met the casting directors and they didn't even have an agent. All that by working on relationships, focusing on the big picture, which is becoming a part of the entertainment business, and then the entertainment business will hire you. Okay, guys, that's all I got for now. I hope this made sense. I hope I completed my thoughts efficiently so that you understand it, but stop auditioning and get involved in the business, and frankly, you probably won't have to audition much anymore because they will actually start to give you roles once they get to know you and once they think they have a sense of what you can do. So, like, share, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and reach out, david at hackhollywood.com, and I will talk to you soon.